and today I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this iJoy underwater camera so this comes in around $20 you can get it for uh, some place for $20 $30 but either way to me it seems like it is a good quality built um, underwater camera for its price so I'm just gonna do the unboxing real quick for you guys so let me get my unboxing knife and let me cut here, cut here, cut there, and cut here. So now I'm trying to do this one handed, so bear with me. Take that off right there. These are the all of these that you see here comes in the box for just $20 to $30. At some place I even see it for $19. So this is what you get for that price which i think is a pretty good deal with all these mounts helmet mounts car mounts swivel mounts underbar mounts straps battery um i think those are some sticky pads right there um you got the usb cable and all those fancy stuff let me put this aside right here so next off we have this other plastic thing that used to protect the, the camera while it's in the package so that's pretty cool right there as i said this packaging is pretty cool for its price i can't believe such a good package for such a cheap camera and then we have the camera right here but i'm gonna put this aside i'm gonna come back to it later so stay tuned for that guys and in the box right here is where the accessories are so let me go ahead and take that out real quick and also this is the quality of the box if you guys could feel it you will know that definitely yeah it is quality built you guys can see the box it is very quality built it is not like a cheap box on the box you can see the different mounts you have the headset right there you have the helmet mount you have the backpack mount which is pretty cool and you have the bike mount so here's another um picture of it on the bike which look pretty cool um i'm guessing this is not going to be as good as the gopro and the dji but it's going to definitely worth the price i haven't tried it as yet but i'm going to try it for you guys on screen and it seems like it have its own lcd screen on the back as you guys know not every camera back then came with a LCD screen. As you guys know, everybody's open for DJI, not DJI, um, GoPro to have a front display LCD screen because you know their rival, their no rival DJI has come out with a LCD screen at the front. So let me go ahead and shake this out. Alright, here we go guys. Here we go. So in the box is empty now, so I'm gonna put this aside also. <clears throat> so now let's open up the accessory box real quick, guys. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me, guys. So there we go. And the accessory box is now on um empty. So now we have our manual, which you know we don't really read. But if you guys want to have a closer look at it. You know you have the ok button right there the up button and the down button and the switch mode i'm not sure what kind of mode that kind of switch to and you also have the lens and yeah this is how the camera look without the housing the waterproof housing i'm guessing that's waterproof housing as you guys know um a lot of action cameras these days have waterproof out of the box no housing necessary so yeah let's put that aside so we have our more our mounts here or different types of mounts and thing we have our straps our usb cable right there our sticky pads right here um this is what this is like a warning sticker yeah this camera this action camera should only be charged by five volts adapter quick charging device over may cause heat and fire so bear in mind guys you definitely need to take this importantly don't take this lightly guys it can cause fire so just a note and then the box is empty as i said we have our straps here i don't think you guys are pretty much interested in the traps the straps 
so I'm gonna go to the camera that you guys have been waiting on so here's the camera let me see if I can take this out Ooh, it kind of have a little weight to it I mean it's not that it's not as heavy as my camera that I'm using now which is the action camera I don't know if you guys can see the reflection right there it is a action camera that I'm using right here um yep yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can turn it on I'm hoping that this button at the top right here is the turn on button so let me press it um that didn't turn it on let's try the next button that didn't turn it on let me try the next one that still didn't turn it on what let me try this one Ooh, never like a music to it anything so here's the camera quality guys like there it is um i don't have like a sd card i might put in an sd card so you guys can see the footage but out of the box that i'm looking at um it doesn't come at the right date for sure oh uh, it's not touch screen unlike other um action camera it is not touch screen um let me try to switch the mode it says no card so i can't record um the lens is right there let me try to switch the mode and see what kind of mode we can go to so okay i think we can record audio alone it seems like okay um so far i can see that it would definitely do some good underwater footage not professionally but yeah it can work it can definitely work with um you can definitely see it is pretty much housed properly um as i said i'm gonna put in my sd card real quick so you guys can see a little footage and yeah that's it um i don't really see any settings for it I don't really think you have to download the app for it to work or whatever um there's a micro um sd card the micro the micro usb cable i mean for it to charge i'm guessing where would the sd card go I'm guessing under here right here but yeah i'm gonna put it in real quick for you guys let me go ahead and try to remove this case real quick the camera for you guys let's go so, I think you guys can see, right? Yep. Alright, so let me take it out of the case real quick. Uh, if I break this, I'm sorry, guys. Um, What the hell? Oh. oh, so there's like a safety lock right here, I guess. And then, wait, what? Yeah, I bring the safety lock up. What? This is definitely in place like properly like they don't want anybody to take this out of the case or something what i feel like i'm gonna break it guys if i break it i'm sorry guys but i'm trying so hard right now to get it to open oh. i might skip this part out and just bring it to the hand when I'm finished opening it because it's definitely not working. Uh, I don't. I know this is not a good idea right here. How is this? Open? Let me go to the manual real quick. Is there a way that they tell us to open this? No, they don't tell anyone else anything to open it at all. Uh, let me try again. So, I mean, on my DJI Osmo action. Up here is where I pull the case. Let me know on if it is that's the same on your camera or what. But for some reason it's not open. Like what the I mean I know you guys want it to be in place but you guys don't want people to like open the fake the case or something? Oh I see. So I'm guessing No, it wouldn't be like oh I see so let me show you guys so what happened you have to pull this back right here and then flip this up right here so i'm guessing you have to do this with like a knife or something because that's what i did and it worked so yeah 
so push this thing back right here push it that way and lift I mean it is pretty hard to do with one hand so just use like a sharp object or something so here is the camera let me try to get oh shoot so the camera is pretty light guys like it is totally light guys like so light like look guys it is definitely light and you guys can see oh. so i'm guessing the battery died right there so i may not be able to show you guys some footage but i'm gonna try to show you guys some footage oh. so this is kind of built like a toy to me i mean the the belt is not that premium as I was thinking. Like, where do I open this right now? Oh, there it is. So, the battery is there. Oh, shoot. This is just the battery. So, let me take out the battery for you guys since I'm right here. So, the battery should go out like that. If I can take it out. Oh, uh, yeah. So here's the battery right guys right here it only comes with one battery which kind of suck because most of the time you're using a camera and say you're going out adventuring it always good to have multiple batteries but at least you know you can take out the batteries so i'm guessing somewhere online you guys can go and get some more batteries for this thing right here so i'm gonna put in my battery back real quick put on back my do the casting cover I mean like click always good to hear a click and the SD card goes right here guys so I'm gonna put it in real quick for you guys to see some of the footage so yeah I'll be back guys all right guys so I have some bad news for you guys I wasn't able to get my SD card to read in dot slot right there when I put it in it just still said like no SD card but what I can tell you is that I can see that this shoots at 1080p as you guys can see right up there i don't know if it's gonna focus for you guys to see but you can see it shoots at 1080p which is pretty good but after looking at this i kind of have an idea for this i'm guessing like people who want to make like a rc car and have a camera on it to like have it go far and all those stuff this could very much be a cheap and useful camera for you to just take apart and modify it as you want also like you're building like a homemade first person drone or all those stuff you can take this camera and like just pull it apart and just modify it as all you want and put it in a different frame or mounting on something because it's definitely small and compact as you guys can see i can almost cover it with my hands if my hands were much bigger and my hands are not the biggest out there i have like a average arm or something so yeah you can see it is pretty much small and compact as i said it did not read my sd card um i don't know if my sd card is too big for it like the files the, the the storage is too big for it or what but it didn't read it and i tried it for a while so sorry about about that guys but overall i would say that if you're looking to make to have like a reliable camera this may not be it, but say you're going on like on a vacation and want to have some underwater footage and just want to grab something real quick um i will definitely give this a try um i don't know what i'm gonna do with this as yet let me know if you guys want to see me do something with it in the comment section um whether it be a giveaway or do some experiment with it or do some underwater footage with it or something just let me know in the comment section um thank you guys for watching if you reach this far you definitely like the content so make sure to subscribe thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace so yeah this was kind of a fail guys but thank you guys for watching also the name of the camera is ijoy which will be in the title so yeah thank you guys for watching peace